and to oppose evil when it comes up. Don't be afraid to do that because that is all of our calling is to confront <coughs> injustice and evil. Then, uh, let's see, lastly, in verse 13, it says, from Pappas, uh, this, I, this, I love this book right here, okay? It says, from Pappas, Paul and his companions sailed to Perga in Papaia, somewhere, where John left them to return to Jerusalem. Anything sounds strange to you about that? It, you're probably not going to catch it, but just uh, Anything different about that? You're not going to get it. Here's what it is, okay? Every time prior to this, remember who brought Saul to Antioch? Barnabas. Okay? Every time prior to this, it's always Barnabas and Paul. Barnabas is in, he's the first seat. He's the lead cello player, whatever. He's the starter on the softball team. Okay? He's the man. He's the one that the church identified as sitting in. He's the one that raised the church up. He's the one that brought Paul in. And it's always Barnabas and that other guy, Paul. Until this verse right here. And from ever after this, it will be Paul and Prince. But Barnabas was willing to be a humble servant. He was willing to take a back seat. It's amazing how much can be done when you don't care if he gets the credit. And Barnabas was willing to do that. He was willing for his name to get looked over and to let Paul arrive. John the Baptist, his disciples would get concerned because Jesus was getting some notoriety. They went to him and they said, Hey, John, you're the man. This Jesus guy started to get the, the credit. And John the Baptist said this, I must become less that he can become more. That's the, that's the attitude of a humble servant. So when you go on the mission field, it's not about getting thanks. It's not about getting credit. When you're doing the camps, you're doing the gather place, you're doing ministry, if you're never appreciated, if you're never thanked, that doesn't matter as long as the kingdom's being built. So, listen to God do what He says. Confront evil, be humble, preach the gospel everywhere, and use words when necessary. Okay? All right, y'all come up and line up at the altar right here. We're going to pray for y'all. And as we do, Michael, y'all come and let the congregation worship. And then I'll have a couple more things to say.